Sarah, welcome to the Daily English Show. Today I was up in Hirafu and I saw a sign with a small mistake on it. Do you know what the mistake is? Beware should be one word. It should say, beware of thieves. Rodolfo from Sao Paulo in Brazil wrote to me to tell me about this site. Thank you so much. I'd never seen that site before and it's really interesting. It's called IDEA, which stands for the International Dialects of English Archive. The guy that created it is a dialect coach for theatre and film and he's also a professor at the University of Kansas in the United States. So it's designed for actors who need to learn dialects or accents, but I think it's also really interesting for people who are studying English. On the site there are sound files of English speakers from all over the world reading the same passage. For example, in the New Zealand section there are 16 different sound files and there's information about each person who is speaking. And you can hear that the guy who was born in Auckland but is Tongan and has spent a lot of time in Tonga has a different accent to the Caucasian woman who has lived mostly in Auckland. Kia ora, in Stick News today, a tourism organisation in Australia is advertising a job which they say is the best job in the world. Tourism Queensland is a government organisation in charge of promoting Queensland. Their latest promotion involves advertising a job with the title the best job in the world. They've created a website to promote the job and explain the job description and application process. The successful applicant will be hired for six months and will be paid $150,000. The job involves taking part in activities on the island, being filmed for promotional videos and writing a blog. Applicants must apply by uploading a video explaining why they want the job. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 14th of January. Kia ora. Today I'm going to show you what's in the basement of my apartment building. So what do you think it is? You have five seconds to guess. <laughs> A waxing room. Today's word is beware. This is a word that is used when warning people that something is dangerous. A sign that you often see in front of houses is beware of the dog. Are there many different accents in New Zealand? Are there different accents in different regions? Does he speak bad English? What's your accent like? Would it be different if you went to a private school? Yeah, there are different accents, but not as many as in England or the United States. Yeah, regions or communities. Like the Tongan guy, he speaks the way he does. Not because he's Tongan, but because he grew up in a Tongan community and spent a lot of time in Tonga. No, no, not at all. It's perfect English. Just it has a certain rhythm. So it's different from, say, my accent. I think it's pretty typical for a Pākehā female who grew up in the North Island and went to a public school. It might be, yeah. Actually, my accent's changed a bit from living in Japan, so maybe it's not typical. <laughs> No vacancies means A, the hotel is full, 
B. The hotel is vacant. C. The hotel is being cleaned. A. Fragile means A. The contents will rot easily. B. The contents will break easily. C. The contents are dangerous. B. No parking means A. Do not park here. B. The park is closed. C. The car park is full. A. Out of order means A. The machine is wrong. B. The machine is broken. C. The machine is out. B. Keep off the grass means A. No smoking. B. Have a nice picnic. C. Don't walk on the grass. C. And that was the Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.